My name is Ron. I'm sitting in my lovely little studio in Woolloomooloo, Sydney, right down near the harbour. You might uh, hear the odd street noise. Why? Because I live in a form of entertainment district. We might see some of that later in some of the other videos. I have a firm, a little small self-contained business called Art and Architecture, which has got this website, which is where you're seeing this video. I'm from the old school, as you can see. Way back in the 60s, I was trained as an architect at university. In those days, we did have computers, but I won't even describe what they were. They were cards and printouts and Fortran from memory, Fortran language. Every drawing we did was analog. Pencil, paper, your brain, maybe a bit of cut and paste. That was it. You didn't have those tools, you couldn't express yourself. And many of us couldn't. So we were trained to do things in a form by rote. We learnt to draw small marks repetitively, paint small things repetitively, patches, colours, hues and shades. Now that may seem pretty stupid these days. But what it does, it gives you the tools to work without thinking. Which means if you're trying to create something, drawing, expressing an idea to someone else through some marks somehow or other on a piece of paper, on the ground, wherever, it, you don't have to think about how to do it. All you need to think about is what you're doing. In other words, you can focus on the creative process or what you're trying to express. Now, this is an introductory uh, film of a number. I hesitate because I'm not sure exactly where this will end up. I'm actually thinking it could be big. No worries. You can download these things and watch them as often as you like for free. I've got knowledge and I want to make sure that it gets out to the world. I've had an incredible response to my website. I built it to access architects within Sydney. There's about three or four thousand of them, I understand, to teach them how to draw the old way. But surprise, which is the modus of the internet, 90% of my hits come from elsewhere around Australia, overseas, from places I've got to look up on a map. So whatever it is I'm talking about is of interest to somebody. Maybe it's a form of lost knowledge. I don't want to get big-headed about it, but maybe I was of the school, the last generation, second last generation, they actually learnt these things. I do know that the teachers cannot do it and therefore they do not teach it. Many of my students are graduates or postgraduates and they simply have never been taught to draw, particularly freehand but they come to me. Now what's missing? This is what gave me the clue about this small business. Further, it's the reason I'm making these little movies and there's going to be lots of them. Two, three, four minutes each which you can string together and learn. If you know it all, fantastic. Just skip to the next one. Maybe there's something there of interest. And I don't care if you look at a hundred and only get one piece of information out of it it'll make me happy. You'll find links on my website if you'd like to contact me, email me, whatever, please do so. Anyway, over to the first lesson which is repetitive marks. You may say, mm, what's all this about? Well, if you're an athlete and you're a runner, would you sprint out onto the track and expect to run a race and win it? Off the bat. No. 
you would train. You'd probably start a hundred times, two hundred times. You'd probably run short sprints for the first 10, 20 meters to see what acceleration and so forth you could do, what strength you had, etc, etc, etc. So that when the time came for you to actually compete or draw, then you don't have to think about that aspect. You just do it. So, here we go. We're just going to draw some marks. <laughs>